I don't know, Rick. Um, uncharted territory, but we just uh, we just report to facts, right? We don't try to understand. Uh, it's impossible. That's right. That's right. Well, we're still in chartered territory, but we're getting on the fringe. July read on consumer price index up three tenths is expected on headline. Up three tenths when you remove the all important food and energy known as core. That is arguably a tenth higher. Uh, Rearview mirror unchanged, 0.1.3. So sequentially on uh, a core. We're holding at an elevated level, uh, and with regard to headline, we pop just a bit. Let's go through some year-over-year -year figures, shall we? Uh, on year-over-year -year CPI, up 1.8. On year-over-year -year core, up 2.2, which marks the 17th, one seven month in a row of 2% or higher in this particular category. Uh, if we look at real average hourly earnings year-over-year, -year, up 1.3, two-tenths, uh, lighter than our last look, and if we take that time frame from hourly to weekly earnings year over year, uh, that's it, up eight tenths, also a little light sequentially versus 1.2. You know, Joe, uncharted territory would be if we breached the 136 level, the double bottom from 2012, uh, uh, 2012 and 2016. 30 year bonds, on the other hand, have never closed under 210. Uh, they represented a July 2016 bottom, and through some movements in the 30s minus 10 spreads, it really puts it in a very much leadership role to get to that part of the planet that you referred to as uncharted territory earlier. Seems pretty close. We, we can't. We're pretty uh, darn close. Yeah, it, we've been very close intraday, yes. We'll never go negative here, will we, Rick? Well, I'll tell you what, you can already see. You know how these things happen, Joe. Things that should never happen that nobody could say a positive thing about. Over time, when they seem less and less inevitable, there becomes little research around the edges, nibbling about. It's not so bad. You're already starting to see this on negative rates. White papers, factoring in is not, you know, the evil that we all know it is. Listen, if you have a market-based capitalist system, which has really done quite well uh, considering its history, especially stacked up against others, uh, having... Negative interest rates, removing the grease from the gears will result in grinding gears. They could frame it any way they want. Right. And they could look at the Fed as mandates and all the things they're supposed to pay attention to. But sometimes you have to put your neck on the block and stand out there. This central bank needs to stop the wave of negative interest rates or at the very least not get involved well, I here. might buy a house in Denmark. Did you see that? Um, your mortgage, yep. did you see that, Sorkin? Yeah, the yeah. house in Denmark. Yeah, I, I tell you, they pay you. Yes. Your mortgage you goes down. Pretty Denmark. good, right? Your mortgage goes yeah, down. Yeah, but I get it. It's but there, there's oddities there, and I certainly wouldn't. I'll tell you what. If negative interest rates happen here, we all know what the story will be. When you are paid in something, it's going to be on the negative side of that ledger. And when you need to borrow, you're going to be on the steep side of that. I, I just think it's a bad road to go down. And, Given these quarter points away or succumbing to pressures of the market for near-term monetary gratification of return is not the way the Fed should be looking at this situation.